right, so I got a little bit more food. I got some bread, and I also made some iron boots for myself uh, with the four pieces of iron that I found in the blacksmith shop because I figured I should probably have something in case I fall to give me at least a shot of not dying. So, I, I mean, I could have used it for a sword. I could have used it for a pick, but I'm sure I'll be able to quickly find iron, <laughs> hopefully. Famous last words, right? Uh, so I am going to go ahead, uh, my first goal is I really need to get some cobblestone, so I'm going to have to make myself a pick, get some wood, and make it happen. So I think first things first, wait, what is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just found another ridiculous structure. Okay, this is also, this is a, it looks like a castle, I think. It's part of the Better Dungeons mod again. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that, the massiveness of that structure. That is so freaking cool. Wow, okay. Yeah, I have, I've played with the roguelike dungeons mod before, and it's really cool once you get inside because it looks like just a little, like, turret tower on the top, but then underneath it just expands forever and ever. But you cannot beat just the visual look of these dungeons from the Better Dungeons mod, from the Chocolate Quest mod, that is more properly known as. Dude, this is insane. This is so cool. Oh, man. Okay, I really want to explore there because I know there's some really awesome loot. But I just have no gear, so I can't even attempt to get in there yet because I have nothing. I really need to find... Oh, there's some trees. Okay, on the other side of there, there's some trees. Get some reeds here. Let's replant those if I need it. And, of course, still watching out for quicksand. What do we got in here? Sandstone. Sand, okay, no clay or anything. Not that I need it, just like to know what I'm looking at. Okay, I'm gonna take the long way and avoid that guy because I'm assuming there's some kind of crazy bosses in there and mobs, and I don't want to deal with that right now at all. But heading this way, it looks like I've got some good options for some trees. There we go, perfect. All right, so let's see. Man, this is just so cool. I cannot wait to get geared up and get into there. I'm probably not going to get completely geared up before I just rush in there because I am just... Oh, that is an enemy. That's cool. So I'm just so excited to get started there. Oh my gosh, like you have no idea. Okay. I'm just going to take some trees down. Let's punch some trees. Alright, I'll be back in a couple minutes once I've gotten... A little bit more set on my resources here. This is basic vanilla Minecraft 101 right here, so I'll skip through this. And I'll see you guys in a minute. And so I came back to the village because I ran in tonight again and I was not able to find a sheep of any kind to make a bed. Or I guess I could have killed a bunch of spiders and gotten string and eventually made wool, but that would have been quite too dangerous. So waiting for the sun to rise here. Got my buds. Chilling in their place. And as you can see, I also did a little bit of the achievement tree too. I got uh, time to farm, time to strike, and time to mine. Took care of all those just so I could get the achievements out of the way. Even though I'll probably never use these wooden items again. I'll farm that stuff later. But I am going to head out back where I was because that looked promising in terms of getting some wool. So let's hopefully find something here. I cannot wait to get into that castle. That place is, wow, it just looks so awesome. Oh, and I'm in quicksand. Gotta watch where you're going in the desert. Rule number one. How many times have I said it? Oh, I can pretty much guarantee it's going to happen to me again. And just so you know, if you do go all the way down into quicksand and you're not able to reach the end, like somehow you land in the middle of this massive pit and you're not near the edge and you can't get out of it, you can actually sink and yes, you can suffocate. So definitely don't want that to happen. Alright, here's sheepy sheepy. 
Here, sheepy, sheepy. Some of the trees I punched down earlier. I love this. It's like dead leaf pile. That's so cool. That's awesome. Ooh, toadstool. I wonder what I can use that for. Alright. And we have clover patch. Oh, sweet. Did that give me anything? Nope. Too bad. Blue hydrangea. I love just looking at all of these different ones. Sheep! There we go. Alright. Flax. So many cool items in this game. There's always something new to look at. Ooh, and there is a roguelike dungeon. That's what I was talking about. That's what I've seen uh, in the past. Oh my gosh, there's something else over there. It's like a dungeon built into a hill. Dude, this is crazy. This is so cool. Alright. Get some wool. One more. Thank you, sir. I will sleep in your bed every night. Oh, those are cool flowers. No. A little bit of lag there. I must have been loading something. I want to check out this other place without getting too close. Oh, and I've also got some wood, in case you didn't see that. Wild flower. Alright, cool. Looks like I'm in a savanna here. Yep. All right, let's see. What is this place? Ooh. A gravestone. Okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't know they could randomly be put into places, just randomly generated. That's really cool. Okay, I'm kind of nervous about this because there is a chance, I believe, that zombies can come out of these gravestones once you break them. But if you do break them, sometimes there's some sweet loot inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Nothing. Okay, sweet. And there's a gravestone. I got some rotten flesh and a bone. Okay, that wasn't worthwhile. But I have seen some gravestones that have some pretty sweet loot. And I also know that they can generate... Okay, I want to make sure I don't get lost here. Back that way. Okay, follow the coast. I also know that gravestones can generate in... Um, villages and have and actually generate a cemetery, which is pretty sweet. So that's something to look out for. Okay, this is kind of weird. You can definitely see how it like generated whatever this structure is supposed to be. Oh, you know what? I think this is a stronghold, if I'm not mistaken, which is like insanely huge. Oh man. Oh no. Okay. Bye bye. Wow, that was a lot of skeletons, and they were totally decked out. Running away, running away. They're still chasing me. What? Are they still chasing me? I sure hope not. I'm just going to keep going in this direction, though, <laughs> just to be safe. Are they after me? No? Okay. Well, yeah, so uh, that's going to... I'm going to save that for another day. Wow, okay, so I know I need to get very geared up before I attempt to go in there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go mining. I need to find a place to mine. Alright. There was some lag there. Okay, I see another... Okay, that's that roguelike dungeon. Uh, I really want to go in there. There's another type of structure over there, too. There's so many structures now. It's so awesome. Okay. I just need to find a place where I can go mining. I need, like, a ravine or something. There's some stuff over there. Keep exploring this way. Hey, another gravestone. Grave plate. I don't know how that's any different, but, well, I know if you break the block underneath it, it's a lot quicker, so I'm going to do that and hope there's no zombie. Okay. <laughs> I'm, like, all worried, but 
I don't know. I've seen it before where zombies come popping out, and I don't want to deal with that. Hey, it's a cave. Okay. That looks promising. I'll grab this mushroom. I did grab a couple of mushrooms earlier so I can make some mushroom soup. Alright. I think I'm going to have to head into that cave. That looks pretty promising. But what's over here? Okay. Oh, oh, what in the world? No way. No way. Is that what I think it is? Oh my gosh. It's a freaking pirate ship. Are you kidding me? I had no idea that was in this mod pack. Are you kidding me? A pirate ship? Oh my gosh. I can't wait to go in there. Okay. That is just insanely epic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Step one is get geared up. I really want to just go in there, but oh man, I got to get geared up first. River cane. That's pretty cool. I'm going to take that. I have no idea what it does yet, but I will learn as I go. Here's some more over here. This looks like a dry riverbed. Okay. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I cannot. I want to stay. I want to stay away from that roguelike dungeon because I don't need more mobs chasing me. But oh man, there's got to be some crazy mobs in that pirate ship, dude. You have got to be kidding me. That is so freaking cool. Oh man. Well, if I ever needed any motivation to get my act into gear and. Start getting geared up here. That is the motivation right there. Okay, so I am going to go straight underground. And find me that cave, wherever that went. And it was a really good one that had a lot of exposed ores this way. I think I passed around it. So I hope I don't get lost here. I should be okay. Alright, this looks promising. Except I don't want to... I think I'm right on top of it actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so we got some coal, which is good because I really need torches. Alright, I'm gonna start mining away and hack away at some of these resources here and explore this kind of caved area. And I will. See you guys in a little bit once I've explored this whole section and kind of stripped it away a little bit. Okay, so I haven't found anything in here yet. I did find some tin and some copper, different ores that are used in the forestry mod. Uh, I can show those to you real quick here. This is copper. And then over here we've got tin. I don't know that I necessarily need those yet. I really just need iron right now because uh, I need to get geared up. I need iron suit of armor and iron sword, like bare minimum. Of course, diamonds would be nice, but okay. Oh, wow. So poison ivy. Okay. So there is poison ivy to watch out for. Wow. That is pretty realistic because that's like, I had no idea. I didn't even see that thing there. Okay. So we're going to move on to a different area. Uh, I did make a furnace and I made a upgraded pickaxe. So I got those two achievements. Uh, other than that, everything should still be as is. But, ooh, this looks promising. Okay, let's see here. If I can now go my way up in here. All right, so we got some tin again. <laughs> tin again. All right, and, ooh, okay. There's a glowing light down there. It tells me either lava or something else. I have no idea what it is and potentially scares me. <laughs> All right, but uh, we got to check it out. Looks like a flower or something down there. I'm so nervous right now because I'm so not geared up. I have iron boots and I have a wooden sword. This is a bad, bad idea. Clover. Iron. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, okay, it's lava. All right. I'm all freaked out here because I have no idea what else is in this game. Careful not to burn up. I don't think there's anything. I can't see anything else around that corner. All right, so got to get this iron. Please tell me it's more than one piece. Are you kidding? Well, that was a bummer. Did Clover do anything for me? Oh, I picked it up. Okay, maybe I can use it for something. I'll have to find out. Alright, well, for now, I'm going to get out of here. 
see if I can find any more iron. I love how there's like foliage under the water, algae. That's so cool. And then over here I've got some other, is that like algae sticking out? That's pretty sweet. I have to go over and find out what it is. It just makes for a really interesting effect when you're actually traveling underwater. Hey, there's some clay. It actually makes it look more realistic because this is actually the kind of stuff. Oh, it's reeds. Okay, that's cool. This is the kind of stuff that you would actually find when you're kind of traveling around. Okay. I'm going to keep looking here. That pirate ship looks so cool. All right. Can't get distracted. Got a job to do. All right, so I found a pretty good haul. I've got 27 iron that's enough to get fully geared up and get some uh, uh, iron sword and iron pickaxe too. And I think I'm going to have to just go with that because I really want to get a look at some of these awesome structures. So I'm going to make my way back to my village, cook up that iron, get geared up, and then we're going to have to head out and do some damage here to explore and see what we got. Alright, so I will see you guys in a bit once I'm all geared up and ready to go.